Crystal, so I have a really exciting haul video for you. So I went to Walgreens today and I blame it on my friend Kristen because um, she also has a YouTube channel. Her name is, or her YouTube username is the Kristen K channel. I will link it down below in the description box. You should check her out. She is super sweet. So um, the reason that I went into Walgreens was because I left my doctor's appointment and there was a Walgreens right there. But prior to that, me and her had been texting today, and we were. she was talking about how she's on a no-buy, but she blew it because she went to Walgreens and she found the new Maybelline color tattoos that are limited edition, the duochrome ones. Well, I haven't seen those yet, so I was leaving my doctor's appointment. I was like, you know what? There's a Walgreens right around the corner. I'm just going to check it out. So I went in there. And I didn't find the Maybelline color tattoos, but as soon as I walked in, there was a new cover gold display. I was like, oh, drawn right to it. So I went right up there, and the first set of products I found were like foundations. They had some nail polishes, some other things, but the thing that caught my eye was the foundation, the powder foundation, and the concealer. So I picked up this foundation. This is Ready Set Gorgeous. And the packaging's really cute. And this says a fresh complexion oil-free foundation. It's number 105 classic ivory and on the back it says one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends easily to even skin tone and reduces shine all day. It's oil-free, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin, lasts all day. So this is one fluid ounce this was $6.99, which is really affordable. I actually like the packaging. I like that it, you know, I like the pink on it, but I like that it's in a little squeeze tube um, versus like in a pour tube. So it makes it, you know, sanitary, easy application. So I'm really excited about this foundation. And let me just give you a little swatch. So I got the lightest shade and um, it looks like it might be okay. It might be a little pink, but not too much. So that's what it looks like. And it actually does look like it might get pretty good coverage. So there it is on the back of my hand. Now as it starts to dry, it does look a little bit more pink, but I think I can make it work. Um, usually in CoverGirl foundations, the lightest shades tend to be a little bit more pink toned, um, but I usually can make them work. So I'm really excited about that. I will probably do a video on it just to let you guys know how I like it. Um, the next product I got was the Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. This is oil free and this is also the lightest shade 105 and this one's in fair. So my, light, my lighting's all funky. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. So I won't even give you a swatch of this but um, I will definitely give you guys like my thoughts on these. I will do a like not first impression. I don't really do first impression videos, but um, maybe I'll use it for a few days and then do a video and tell you how I like it thus far. Um, so then I picked up some new nail polishes. They had the little mini tiny nail polishes that CoverGirl has. They had some of those on the same display. And then they also had some newer ones in the back display. But along with those, they had another display that had these new CoverGirl polishes. These are the CoverGirl XL Nail Gel. So these are new, and I got two colors. These are the two that I picked up. Walgreens put these ugly stickers on there. I hate that. Ugh. Okay, um, so this pretty pink is called Whole Lotta Huava. So it's a beautiful pink. I can't wait to put that on my nails. So I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a gel consistency. Um, these are made in France, and let's check out the brush. It has like... So it has a wide brush, and I actually like that. I know some people don't. I don't feel like it's as wide maybe as like the um, Sally Hansen ones, but I like a wide brush because it covers more surface area on my nails. I just find it faster and easier to apply. Um, the other color that I got, this beautiful yellow. I don't wear yellows too much on my nails, but um, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pick up this yellow. And I didn't notice at the time, but at my house, I noticed that it has this really pretty pearly, like pearlescence to it. So I'm really excited about it, more excited than originally. So this one is called Hati Lemon. Not Naughty Lemon, but it's Hati Lemon with an H. So I don't know if you'll be able to pick up that pearlescence it has, but it's so pretty. 
So I'm really excited about this one. They had more colors. They had like a purple, a blue, a red, an orange, just kind of like standard colors, not too many colors, but they did have a good amount of colors, maybe like seven colors or something like that. And then they have these brand new lip glosses, these ones right here. And I should have totally taken a picture of the display, but my camera was like almost dead. It was on its last leg and I didn't want to reach in my pocket and pull out the camera. And people think I was like trying to shoplift or something like that. So I didn't even bother. So they had a lot more than these colors. They had quite a few color selections in the lip glosses. So these are the CoverGirl, what are these called? Um, these are, okay, so these are the CoverGirl Colorlicious lip glosses. And I picked up five, five of them, look at them. And then of course I have these ugly Walgreens stickers all over them. So I picked up five, these were $7.99, kind of pricey I think for a lip gloss, especially at Walgreens, you know. Um, let me tell you how much the concealer was because I completely forgot. The concealer was $5.99, so affordable concealer, $5.99. The nail polishes were $6.99. And the lip glosses were $7.99. Oh, they were on sale for $6.99, actually. I guess it was all on sale. Oh, reward savings. So I saved money because I had rewards. Oh. So these were originally $7.99, but I got them for $6.99. So I'm going to give you some swatches. But um, let's start off with the darkest shade. This one is so pretty. This is the first one I picked up. I just was, like, drawn to it. So this one is called... This one's Pinkalicious. It just has this beautiful, like, purpley blue shimmer in it. Let me see what they smell like. They smell kind of sweet. They have a good smell to them. They're not bad at all. They smell sweet, so I like that. So that one is, what was that called? Pinkalicious? Pinkalicious. Of course, my dogs are barking. They always never fail to bark when I'm filming. Ugh. So the next one is called Plumalicious. Gorgeous color. I had to pick this one up as well. I actually put this one on in the car just to see what it looked like. It's kind of sheer. It's not really opaque. It's a lot more sheer than the other one. So that one right there. And the next one is called Juicy Fruit. So that one right there is Juicy Fruit. The next one is called Berrylicious. So this one is Berrylicious. So this one's more of a mauve kind of like a mauve nude. So these are slightly sheer, so if you don't like sheer lip glosses, then you may not like these, but I think these would be a good topper on a lipstick, so. I feel like when I hold it up, it kind of gets washed out. Hopefully it's true to color. I apologize if it's not. Um, and then the last one I picked up is Honeyed Kiss. Oh, I'm surprised this one's not called something licious, but it's called Honey Kissed. Honey Kiss. So this one's a really light shade. I thought it would be a good topper for lots of different lip gloss or lots of different lipsticks. It's just kind of like a shimmery, shimmery one. So that is what it looks like right there. So yeah, those are all the things I picked up from CoverGirl. Really excited to test them all out, especially um, really excited about the foundation and about the nail polish. I just want, like those are the first things that I want to use. So, so they also had another foundation and concealer and those ones, I forgot what the name of those were, but it was like Firm and Lift or something like that and it had Ellen DeGeneres on the display itself. It wasn't like the CoverGirl and Olay. I don't recall seeing it saying Olay anywhere, but it had um, Ellen DeGeneres on it and I think it was probably geared more for mature women or something like that. But um, it came in a, kind of like the CoverGirl whipped foundation. It came in a container like that, but the CoverGirl one was plastic versus glass. And I really wanted to pick that up. They only had like four shades though. And 
it was like almost $18 so I didn't pick it up but it was like a moussey consistency I just kind of held off on that one just because it was so pricey and then they also had a concealer to go with that and the concealer was almost like the concealer with a roller ball on it to kind of like cool and help with puffiness under the eyes. So I didn't pick that up either, but those were some of the other products that I saw from CoverGirl. So um, if you guys are interested in any of these products, I will probably either be doing um, like a review on these two and then probably just mention these ones in my loves and letdowns video. So, you know, if you guys don't watch them, you should because I talk about like lots of different products. I can give you like small reviews on things. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Bye.